Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. This is Strictly Commentary. You notice how the darkness can be so dark. I don't know if you've ever experienced it. I have up in the mountains where there's no light. I mean, it is just so dark. You can hold your hand and wiggle it and move it. And if you don't turn that flashlight on, you have no clue where you are. You don't know if you're about to fall off the cliff or bump into a tree. But let me tell you, this is what I love. When you are in the middle of that darkness and you raise your hand and hold it up in front of you, even though you cannot see your hand, you know beyond a shadow of a doubt that your hand is in front of your face. You know that because your hand is an extension of you and you know where you just moved your hand. So you know it's there. If you're walking in the middle of darkness and you know that you're at a point where there should be an eye and, 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 oh, what's the word? Where there should be something there and you're not feeling it, you know, within a second or two, you're going to bump into it. Why? Because you remember when it was day where that was and you know where it is and you know, even though you can't see the tree or you can't see the fence or the car, you know, it's there because it was there before it got dark. Well, let me tell you something. God is there. He is very present. He hasn't gone anywhere. He hasn't forsaken you. He hasn't forgotten you. He has not abandoned you. He is right there with you in your darkness. You're not alone. You're not battling this thing by yourself. He's got your back. That's what the Bible means when it says he is your rear God, your rear guard, or your rear reward. He has your back. He is in front of you protecting and guiding and moving things and setting up doors and all kind of things for you. And he is preparing the pathway ahead of you. Even though you can't see it, the dark is total light for him. Now, here's the thing. God has got your life and you. He's got your health. He's got your finances. He's got your affairs in his hand. And as long as you can remember, God is right there with you. As long as you can remember that God creates. I don't care what you don't have. I don't care what you can't lean on. I don't care what you can't see. God will create something that was never there in the first place. And you blink and you got an answer. You blink and your solution is standing right in front of you. You blink. You think, oh Lord, I need money. And God will place a person in your pathway. And you're thinking in your human understanding, no, I don't need the person. I need the money. But the person's got the money and they've got the things you need that won't cost you a dime. I am telling you, God knows how to create the wildest solutions for your quandaries. Mm. Anyway, I'm not going to take long on it. Just dropping these little nuggets on you to keep you encouraged. Keep putting that one foot in front of the other. Keep putting that one foot in front of the other. Don't sit down. Don't cry and wallow. Don't give up the ghost. Trust in God. Trust in him at all things. When you don't know what to do, wait patiently for him. He'll guide you every step of the way. He says, I will lead you in the way you should go. That's Psalms 32. Just don't be stubborn like the mule. Follow him. When he leads, follow him. If you don't understand him, follow him. Because he will take you to the right place every time. He will not fail you. God bless you.